think, think, you think, live in a world made by you, think, a world think. of fact and fantasy, think, think. but where does fact think. end, think, and fantasy begin, think, think, this is a program think. designed, think, to make you think, 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 think. 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 Statue of Liberty. Oh, gosh, it's wonderful. And you didn't want to come up here. Oh, just like the world, right under it. Not scared a bit, are you? Oh, why should I be? It's just wonderful. Oh, look over here. <laughs> Will you quit running around here like a doodlebug? What? The bridge is over the river. Which, which one's that? Oh, I don't know. Brooklyn or something. Oh, gosh, so many buildings. I, I had no idea New York was so, so spread out. So many buildings and... Oh, gosh, it's wonderful. Yeah. From up here. What? What did you see, Michael? I said it's all wonderful. From up here. You get down there, though. And, oh, I bet it's like one of those Hollywood, you know, glamorous stars when she gets up in the morning. Oh, Michael. What do you know about things like that? Well, I know you're super colossal or something when you wake up. Oh, <laughs> you are. Your eyelashes sort of, sort of flutter. And then you stretch just like a little pup dog. Like a pup dog. Oh, is, is that romantic? Well, I don't know the words. I just know that I'm gladder every minute that you married me. You married me? Don't argue with your husband. Husband? Leave, leave your lips are so soft. I'm glad no one else is up here. 
All right, Michael. Two dollars and twenty cents to make love to me or to see the sight. <laughs> Married a beautiful cash register. Listen, Mr. Smith, we like go. Oh. <laughs> Look, you're going to see me for 99 years, and, well, maybe this is the last time we'll be able to get away and see New York. Michael. What? Look over there. Yeah. Yeah, how do you like that? Clouds. Where did they come from? Oh, the usual place clouds come from. Look at them, coming right at us. Yeah. Yeah, that's a strong window. Oh, well, Michael, this is so exciting. Why, why, we're up in the clouds. It's made to order, just for you and me. Oh, no. Rain. Oh, gosh, there goes the rest of our day. Sure is a good thing they've got this place last in. Eve, Eve, it's only lightning. Eve, Eve, you've been in thunderstorms oh, before. Michael. Eve, what is it? The clouds, they're fighting. Huh? And they're fighting each other. Is that any reason to be afraid, honey? Gosh, thunderclouds, they, they sort of boil around. Oh, my arm is fighting. Eve, what kind of talk is this? Arm is fighting. What do you keep saying that? I can't help it. I keep thinking. Well, don't think. Honey, honey, remember we just... Uh, honey, we weren't going to think about anything. Besides, this is us. How can I be happy when all over the world... All right. All right, I will talk about it. I'll talk about it once and for all. Then you and I won't have to talk about it anymore. Gosh, I don't know anything about about those things the newspapers are always talking about. Maybe I'm not so smart as the people who live in this town and all the other big towns when it comes to dodging taxis and throwing wisecracks. But I know this. I don't want to own everything I can get my hands on. And I know it isn't right for some people to have too much when some people have so little. And I know if I have to fight, I will fight. But if I fight, it'll be for what I know is right. For a kind of world where everyone has a chance. No matter what they look like or what their name is or what their blood is. Because I know that no matter what anyone says, people all over the world, they're just like you and me. All they want is... All I want is happy work, someone they care for, to work for, and a little time left over just to enjoy being alive. I love you, Michael. That's good. Mm. Just, just a moment, Mark. The storm is breaking. First time in my life I ever talked like that. You were very good. <laughs> Not bright, but good. Michael, look. Look at what? Just, just can't see anything down there. Yeah, yeah, the air's full of mist. That's why. You see things, and yet you don't see them. Let's go on. Oh, all right. Hold on, my arm. If it's still raining when we get down, we'll, we'll take a taxi back to the hotel. All right. I guess this is the button. I press to get the elevator up here. Yeah. Yeah, that ought to bring him up. <laughs> God. Thunderstorms and everything. Mm, it's been quite an experience, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I sure jumped out of my skin when you screamed. I mean, when you saw those thunderclouds. Oh, I didn't scream, Michael. <laughs> well, you certainly did. Sort of. <laughs> I sure don't know much about women, I guess. I mean, you were afraid of the clouds, and then you weren't afraid of the thunder and lightning. Clouds were, were horrible. Oh. Hey, what's the matter with this elevator? Ring again. That's all I've been doing. Something must be wrong with it. Maybe the button is... Yeah. Yeah, no benefit. That's plain enough. Well, don't be so impatient. Well, we certainly can't walk down. Still come up for it. Gosh, my thumb's getting sore punching this thing. Something sure is out of order. Maybe we had better walk down. A hundred and two floors? Oh, no, I mean just to the next landing where we can get the next elevator. Oh, let's take the stairway, Michael. Okay. I guess there's nothing else to do about it. Come on. Don't walk so fast, dear. What a life. Oh, it isn't so bad walking downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. Here, take my arm. Down we go, Mrs. Smith. Elevators are all right, but me, I'll take the old fashioned horse. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Michael, look, that door says 86. 
Hallelujah, we're here. Sure, a heavy door. All right, you're going through. Okay. There. Then we'll find out what the matter was. Elevators, yeah. Yeah, there they are. Doors are open. Yeah. Where's the elevator, man? Maybe we'd just better wait. Wait? I want to ride. Where are they? Nobody in the home. Hey! Oh, Michael, don't. Oh, we got to get someone to run the contraption. Hey, elevator man! Michael, they don't like it. Well, gosh, I don't like being stuck up here. Hey, is there someone here to run these elevators? No one. Now what do we do? Well, the, the next elevator stopped on the 80th floor, didn't it? You mean walk again? Well, I think we'll have to. Yeah. Now, what's going to happen? Hey! Hey, isn't there anyone here? Hey, we want to get downstairs! Hey! No, you, dear. Well, there's got to be someone on this floor. Michael, don't get so excited. Well, gosh, 80 floors. We can't walk all that way. We'll have to. Telephone. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, the telephone. That's it. I'll call the operator and tell him what's happening. Come on. Michael, wait for me. Michael, you can't go in there. Come on. But Michael is a private officer. Sure, but they won't mind if we come in. Hey. Can you beat that? No one here. Gone off with the elevator men, I'll bet you. But at least they left the phone. I hope I can dial this thing right. Yeah, yeah, it says operator here. Michael, they're not going to like it at all if they come back in here and find that we've walked in without it. Well, what's the matter? The phone. Here, listen. Done. Sort of dead. Yeah, I'll see. Here, give it to me. We gotta get someone. Hey! Hey, listen, operator! How about answering? Operator! Operator! It's no use. Yeah. Boy, is this a mess. Have to walk down, I guess. Where is everyone in this building? Gosh, I think they'd keep someone on. Maybe. Maybe there's been a fire. Fire? Yeah. Yeah, maybe there's been a fire. Quick! Let's get to the stairway and get out of here. Quick, Michael! Hold on to my arm. But the whole building can't be empty. We tried every office on this floor, I tell you. There's no one. No one. is all fixed up as if people were working in them. There's no one there. Uh, I give up. Michael. Huh? The war. Huh? I, I mean the war you. Everyone ran out into the street. Oh, Does that make sense? A whole skyscraper emptied out just to grab newspapers. But Michael, Michael, about a war that's all the way over the ocean. Yeah, makes about as little sense as anything. Shall we really? Yeah, help. Main floor. Oh, my name. Michael, don't sit down. Hurry. Hurry? Where? Out of here. The street. Don't you want to know what's happened? Yeah, sure. Here. That door sits in the street. Come on, let's... Wait for me. I'm so glad to get out of this place. Come on. Out we go. Okay. It's all right, honey. It's all right. But what's happened? A person on the street. Michael, there were so many. Yeah. Michael. Michael, listen. I don't hear anything. Listen. Wind. That's it. So that's it. Only the wind. Michael, don't you remember? Ever since we got to New York, all day yesterday, all night, this morning... The noise. Don't you remember the noise? Yeah. Yeah. And, and now nothing but the wind. What's happened? Why is it so quiet now? Where are the people? <gasps> Michael, tell me!
just keep walking. Right. If only we'd meet one. If we'd meet just one person. Someone, anyone. Please anybody. stop it. Of course we'll meet someone. We've got to. There's millions of people in this town. There's millions of them. There's not a living thing. Horse, dog, nothing. There's an explanation. There's an explanation for everything. Everyone's gone somewhere, that's all. They've gone somewhere. Where have they gone, Michael? Careful, the car. Why? It's standing still like all the rest. Crazy people. Leave the, leave the car standing right in the middle of the street. They'll come back. They've got to. There's millions of people in this town. People! No. Where are you? Please don't, Michael. Hey, people! Michael, stop. Hey, somebody, it. come on up! Michael, stop Let's yelling to the empty People, Michael! Where are you? Michael, stop! Stop! Oh, Michael! Please. <laughs> what happened to us? No, we we got to keep going. We, we got to find someone. They'll tell us. They'll tell us what happened. Please. What is it, Ian? Michael, I just thought... Thought what? All those empty streets. What? If there is no one else. Huh? What if... What if you and I are, are the only ones left? matter much, does it? All New York's ours. You ought to know that by now. Oh, please don't. Look, look, you know where we are? We're in Broadway. Times Square. Well, I'll give you Times Square. It's all yours. A wedding present. Michael, I'm so tired. Yeah, it's yours. The shops and the big signs and all the taxi cabs and the buses and the cars standing around, it's yours, Eve. Yours to have or to lose or to burn Michael, up. Or... please. Sorry. I guess I'm a little goofy. Let's keep going. All right. Tired? Yeah. Will there be light? No. How, how do you know? I tried the light switches all along the way. I won't be afraid of the dark. No. No, I guess that's one advantage you've got. Coming from the country. There'll be people there, won't there? I don't... I don't think so. Why do you say that? When we went into that store before, there were radio sets, battery ones. I tried them when you weren't looking. There's nothing on the air. What does that mean? I mean, what you said before. Maybe it's true. We're the only... The yeah. only... Somehow, I'm, I'm not as frightened as I was. No, no, me neither. My head is off. Oh, I'm just mixed up, that's all. They left the doors open, and the car is right in the middle of the street. And everything's just as if they stopped right in the middle of what they were doing. But why? Why? That word's got me dizzy, chasing around in my head. Uh, Michael. Millions of people. Where have they disappeared to? If only we had some idea. Michael. Any idea. What's the matter? What are you looking over there? That newspaper. The headlines. War fury rages. Armies march in Asia and Europe. Well. The headlines. Well, what are they? It's the same one as this morning. But, Michael, couldn't that be the answer? Answer to what? What are you talking about? Why? Why they disappeared. Eve, get hold of yourself. What's a war thousands of miles away got to do with this? Oh, maybe... Maybe it's the same over there. You mean people gone? Yes. Let's keep going. I know. I know the curb. Let's sit here. Now, now you've got to tell me what you started to say. 
You won't laugh at me when I say it. Just tell me. Well, the war. People killing each other. Maybe God got tired of it. What? Well, he's been so patient, waiting all these years for people to learn how to live on the earth. So, so today, well, well, they just got tired and took everybody away. Eve. Don't look at me like that. Is what I said any more crazy than, than what's happened? Look, Michael, this, this street should be like daylight with electric signs. There should be so many people around us and, and cars coming and going and, and street cars and the whole city living. could have taken them away. Why, why can't it be true? He got so tired of all the horrible mess we were making of things that he, he, he took them away. Yes, No, that's no, it. no, stop it. But, Michael, I... It's crazy talk. I won't listen to you. It's crazy because we don't understand. It's impossible, I tell you. Why is it impossible? I... I don't know very much, but... Well, I do know this. I've been thinking about it all the time we were walking all the way people got here on earth any, any name you want, but well, no matter how you say it, when you really think about it, it's, well, it's all a miracle. Things joining in, in the empty air and growing out of things that couldn't move and, and the animals changing for, for millions of years till they were men. Well, I tell you, it's all crazy and impossible and, and yet someone made it happen. So why not this? Yes, if he need men, why why couldn't he just get tired of the way they were doing things and destroy them? I, I can't believe it's you talking. Michael, I... I think I'm saying the truth. Someone made mankind, and, and that someone just, just destroyed them. Then what are we doing here? We're flesh and blood, just like the rest. You've got us. Or maybe... What? Uh, it doesn't matter. Tell me. Well, maybe you and I... Well? Well, well maybe he, he wanted just, just a couple of people to, to start over with. You say crazy things. And then you say crazy But ones. what if it's true, Michael? You think, what if it is true? The things you set up on the roof during the storm. The good things. Maybe... Maybe he heard them and, and liked them. It's getting dark. Maybe, maybe he heard them and liked them. I'm awfully tired. Let's find a place to sleep. All right. Where will we go? Any place. We can go any place now. <laughs> yes. Let's hurry. It'll be terrible on the streets when it's very dark. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, Michael. Why should we hurry and be afraid? Who can harm us now? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All the, the harm is out of the city now. Oh, Michael, you... You don't quite believe all the things I've said before, but... Well, tomorrow when the sun shines again, and, and we know that this really happened and it isn't some kind of a dream, you'll believe then, won't you? Maybe. You're, you're thinking about something. Tell me what it is. Well, if what you think did happen, maybe he left a few more people like us at different places on the earth. I mean, plain, ordinary people to join together and make a new world. We'll have to help run things. Oh, Michael, yes. But, but we don't know anything about running a world. You and I. We're just you and me. How can we do better than, than they did? The millions of them. Maybe by... Well, by... By remembering something they sort of forgot. What? It's just to... To do unto others as... As you would have them do unto you.
NBC Radio Workshop has presented Arch Obler's radio classic, The Word, starring Nan Rodman as Eve and Ray Fielding as Michael, with John David and Dan Lincoln in supporting roles. Effective sounds were created by Wayne Kenworthy, Ruth Davis, Mary Watch, John David, and Franklin Brzee. Broadcast engineers were John Neal, Harry Bacar, and Val Valentine. This was a John Apolito, Steve Markham production. And now, the voice of Think, Dave Ballard. Next week, a study in psychological behavior. John Edward Kingsley's The Man Who Murdered Stalin. Throughout the centuries, political assassinations have altered the course of world history. Some have brought peace and security. Others, terror. Which effect do you think would be brought upon today's world where an American citizen would privately take it upon himself to murder Joseph Stalin? This is a program designed to make you think, 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 think. Bill Hessen speaking. America is sold on ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.